Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's time for another Lovely Tea TV shout out. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. And if you have Amazon Prime, make sure you go on to amazon.com, search Lovely Tea, that's L-O-V-E-L-Y-T-E-A in Amazon, and everything will come up, including my tea and my accessories. And also, if you guys purchase a bag of tea, if you purchase any of the accessories, and you guys enjoy them, you guys thoroughly like them, please make sure to leave a review. Thank you so much for your support and stay tuned for the video. So I know a lot of you guys want me to talk about this whole situation concerning Nicki Minaj's mom, Kara Miraja, and I've always liked Mama Carol. I remember a long time ago when Nicki Minaj and Sapphire were going through their whole breakup on social media, and there was a lot of mudslinging and them going back and forth, and Mama Carol got on her damn Twitter and she shut that shit down, okay? She checked not only her daughter, but she also put Safari in his place and said, you know what, you guys have been together too long, this is foolish, y'all start the arguing, y'all take this off of social media, and since then I had always liked her mom because she was not here for the foolishness. So now what's going on is this, is you guys and I've been one of the few YouTubers to cover the whole Jelani Mirage situation when Nicki Minaj's brother first got accused of sexually abusing an 11 year old and then you know I covered everything throughout the trial and just everything that went down and he was eventually found guilty this past November of you know sodomizing and abusing this young girl for years from the time she was about 10 years old up until the, her age that she is now which I believe is about 15. Um, they even had her brother come on the witness stand and he said that he also witnessed, you know, their stepfather abusing the sister and things like that, okay? So since this has happened, Nicki Minaj has not said anything. She's not spoken out about her brother or the situation, which I definitely understand that is her right to do that. But now Mama Carol, who has not spoken out, tweeted posted anything on social media since April she took to social media the other day this was on August 4th and she said that she's going to tell her truth she's going to tell the side of the story everything that's having to do with her son she was going on to a cable access show in New Jersey on August 8th around I believe 7 p.m and she was going to speak her truth I'm going to go ahead and read that tweet to you guys right now so on August 4th Mama Carol says watch the hip-hop hood report with Charles Fisher and the fitness sheriff is I share the shocking news the court don't want you to know in a tell-all interview about my son's trial on August 8th at 11 p.m. and then again on August 11th at 3 p.m. Channel 20, Optimum, Channel 37, Verizon, and then she also put a streaming link. So, of course, when I was sent this, I was like, you know what, I have to tune into this. I got to see what's going on. What does she have to say? Honey, I have my damn teacup in hand, okay? So then, anyhow, everybody got ready to watch the interview today. Folks were ready to see Mama Carol spill that tea. And then, all of a sudden, she took to Twitter today to say that she was changing the date. So, this is what she had to say today on Twitter. Check this out. So now she says, view and date change for my exclusive tell-all interview. They don't want you to know about my son's trial. So the new date is supposedly August 11th at 12 p.m. on YouTube. All right, so you guys just heard me read the new date. So that's what Mama Carol had to say. So, of course, a lot of the barbs are not feeling this. They're not understanding what's going on. And I don't know what's going on between Nikki and her mom. But as we all know, Nikki's album is set to drop this month. I believe they pushed it until the 17th of August. So a lot of people feel like, you know what, why are you bringing all this negative attention? Why are you talking about this? You haven't been talking about this. Can you not say this until after her album drops? She's already dealing with this entire Nikki hate train. So a lot of her barbs are not feeling the fact that Mama Carol is trying to speak on this situation. And then on top of her, you know, she was supposed to have the whole interview today that was canceled. And now she's saying... August 11th and who knows if that's gonna go through you know so this entire situation is just really disturbing at the end of the day like I've always said from day one I don't blame Nicki Minaj for anything her brother has done her and her brother are two different people I don't think that Nicki Minaj should bear the brunt of his guilty verdict I don't think that that should you know have any effect on her or her career but I find this entire situation really sad and the fact that her mom is trying to talk about it during the same month as her album release it's almost like damn mama Carol are you also on the damn Nicki hate train why would you bring attention to Jelani you know what I'm saying knowing that she's already struggling with her career and she's gone through a lot especially 
especially with Cardi B being all over the charts and people just loving Cardi. Nicki needs all the positive press that she can get. So to mix her brother's case in with everything is just kind of disturbing. And I think with the mother trying to spill the tea about the brother, it may end up backfiring on Nicki, unfortunately. But in my honest opinion, the man was found guilty. There was plenty of evidence. So unless Mama Carol has some new solid evidence, I don't think she should be speaking on this because I don't see any good coming from this. And because of what her son did, this is not something simple like, you know, he just touched this girl. He was literally raping this child for years, you know, having anal sex with her, just having his way with this child from the time she was about 10 until she was 15. This is really disturbing. Those details of that case is just really, really heart-wrenching. So unless the mother has like solid proof that her son is innocent, I don't see how this is going to help his case. You know, right now he's been found guilty. And, you know, I don't know what side she's going to speak on. I really hope that when she talks about this, it's not about her enabling him and making excuses for him. There's no excuse for this sick behavior, okay? You know, I understand as parents, we love our children. You know, we want to protect our children and things like that. But in certain cases, when your child is guilty of something that heinous, I'm sorry, I would just be embarrassed. I would just hold my head in shame. I would not even want to be interviewed or speak about the situation. So I'm not sure what she's going to say concerning Jelani. But I think at this point in time, unless she has solid evidence that her son did not do this, unless she has something that can basically get him off, I don't think she should be going through with this interview. I just don't think it's a good look. And it may definitely inadvertently affect Nicki's album sales, her career. And then also, you know, the fact that she's getting ready to release her album. Her mother coming out with this interview can have a negative impact on Nicki. So this entire situation is just really insane. You know, at the end of the day, yes, we all love our children. But when they fuck up, you know, in certain situations, it's okay to say, you know what? I'm not excusing this behavior. I don't want to hear the BS. You're on your own. You know what I'm saying? I would have to disown a child after doing some evil demonic stuff like what this man has been accused and found guilty of doing to this young girl, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Mama Carol coming out after all these months and stating that she wants to talk about the whole Jelani situation and that she has proof that he was set up. It's going to be very interesting. And how do you guys feel about her saying that it was supposed to come on today and then it was canceled and now it's being rescheduled for the 11th? Will you be tuning in? Will you be checking it out? And do you agree with me that this may inadvertently affect Nikki, being that she's getting ready to drop her new highly anticipated album? So anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuce. <laughs> hey you guys it's your girl t and i hope you really enjoyed that video if you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals definitely feel free to click my description box there's plenty of information in there please stay tuned for the next video talk to y'all later